Welcome back to my channel welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, make sure you press that red subscribe button down below and press the bell so you don't miss a thing your girl posts. What's going on, y'all? So, I'm looking real crazy right now. I know. I'm on here with a different robe. Y'all know what I'm about to do. I'm about to get ready. I'm about to do something with my hair. So, mind you, this has only been a week since I straightened my hair. Y'all remember I straightened my hair last week, right? Yeah. Tragic. I told y'all the gym be doing me dirty. So, this is my hair after a week of working out yeah i'm about to try to put some curls up in my hair because i'm about to go to this place called steak 48 i've never been there it's in philly um looks like a very beautiful restaurant like it looks really really nice i looked it up on instagram i've seen a lot of people um put it either as their location or hashtag and it was dressed up so y'all know i'm dressing up or whatever this calls for, you know, this is a bougie occasion. So, I'm going to get a little bougie on them. And y'all know, I, you know, the past couple vlogs, y'all been helping me pick out outfits. So, y'all going to pick out my outfit with me. Well, I, I kind of already have it picked out, but I'm going to show y'all. And let me know if y'all like it down below. I don't know, like, with my hair, if I'm going to do, like, I had this idea, like, maybe I could put a hat on. Or maybe I could put, like, a headband on. So, I'm going to show y'all a couple. Y'all can, like, pick whichever one y'all like. Granted, y'all gonna see this after I wear it, but just see if I end up wearing the one that y'all thought. Okay, so yeah, got my wand out. I'm about to just like try to throw some curls in here because the hair is old, the hair is stale already. So I'm gonna just try to like see what I can do with it. I should, probably should have did my edges before I did that. Don't mind, you know, I'm not doing my hair like the right way, like in the right order. I should have started in the bag. I should have did my edges first, but I'm just kind of, yeah. I'm just kind of winging it. What time is it? squad the hair is done like most of it i haven't like combed it out brushed it out or anything but i have all the curls in so now all i have to do is either put a headband on put a hat on pull it up or you know swoosh it to the side or whatever i'm gonna do so i'm gonna just put my bonnet on right now just to keep the little curls and a little bounce and sis is about to do her face too. so i'll have like an hour left to get my life together but my face is going to take me like 15 minutes while we're here definitely want to encourage you guys to go to lifefitapparel.com it'll be down below you'll be able to click the link and get your purchase today okay so get you a life fit top a life fit bottom the whole set use the promo code get you some money off period and if you didn't catch it before every purchase you make you're getting a special surprise in it at least for the first couple hundred purchases so be one of the first couple hundred and get you a special surprise inside and follow the page at light fit apparel no underscores no spaces no periods no nothing just at light fit apparel follow check the page out like the pictures let me know if you like the content and i'm open to any and every suggestion okay all right so uh let me be my face real quick i'll be right back Sorry, sis face is beating late to the gods, okay? Sorry. This best, this is the best sis face is gonna get. I did a little darker with my lip liner. I'm really feeling it. I love when I have dark lip liner. I don't know if you're only supposed to have dark lip liner for certain outfits or certain occasions, but I don't know all the like makeup rules. So, all right, promise y'all that I was gonna show y'all the outfit and y'all gonna get dressed with me like usual. So is the dress we're wearing did i show you guys this yet it's definitely like a leather type of material y'all know i have a thing with sleeves so this is what the sleeves looks like and it's a little scrunchy at the end this is the back okay this is definitely giving me what is it giving like 
night out on the town type vibes, bougie events vibes. It's like, all right, and then I'm gonna wear my black Gucci stockings. I don't know if you can really see them. Yeah, so I'm about to put these drones on. I'm not a fan of putting on stockings. I mean, does anyone really like putting on stockings? It's just a task. Like, it's not easy. Or y'all think it's easy? Am I, like, lazy or something? So when I first tried this dress on, my madre was here. And she helped me zipper the back. This is the hardest part about getting dressed alone. Zippers. Well, back zippers and back like um little clips and cl clenches type things whatever all right let's see look at god <laughs> he will help you out child when i tried this on last night that zipper in the back was a challenge okay i'm about to show y'all what it looks like with nothing with it not dressed up at all don't mind the stuff in the background y'all know the closet room is also my inventory room right now, so we making it do what it do. So this house sis is coming right now. It I swear this dress does me no justice in cameras or like pictures. Like it looks so stupid and frumpy right now, but like it's literally super cute. Hopefully you guys can catch the vibes. It's not giving like bodycon sexy. It's giving more like classy, bougie, not ratchet. All right, accessory time. I'm gonna add the belt. I definitely think it would like, if I had a bigger Gigi belt, it probably definitely look tough too, but gotta work with what you got, Miles. All right, that's the first little piece. And then, I'm taking this bag. I don't have a, a black Gucci bag, but we mix designers over here, period. Um, I'm just going to hold it like this. I'm not going to do it with the, it has the gold chain, but that's just giving too much for me right now. So, I think I'm going to, like, just carry it like this. Like, mm, you see it? Mm, mm. What did you say? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So now I have to take my hair down to figure out how I'm going to do the hair to decide on if I want to do some type of hat. Like, first of all, should I do a hat, y'all? What y'all think? Like, no, that's doing too much. Like, I'm going to probably, like, mess it up. I should just wear my hair regular. All right. This hat definitely wouldn't match. But I have this cute hat. I think this is super sharp, but I don't know like if I should wear the hat or not. But I think the hat is definitely giving a look right now, y'all. Like I was thinking like, nah, I got this hat for Christmas and I, when I took, y'all know how I feel about hats. And it, and it has like the little gold things right here. Oh, this is so hard. Should I have put some makeup down here? It look kind of light. Mm, cover that up. Um. <laughs> And then I had this hat too that was given this, but I'm dressing it up with gold. Granted, it's not all the way on y'all because I got my other hat on. I think I need to phone a friend. <laughs> Getting dressed is such a task. All right, I'm phoning a friend y'all because y'all not live with me right now. So like what y'all think? So make, make your decision now. Sis gonna wear the hat or sis not gonna wear the hat? I'm phoning a friend. This is a big part to do with what I'm going to decide. Hello? Hey, I need help. What's wrong? Can you see me? I'm in driving. I need to know if I I need to know if I need to wear this hat or don't wear this hat. <laughs> yeah, the hat's cute. Hat's cute, right? I thought I think the hat brings a little vibe to it. Yeah, I think it's super cute. Okay. Cool beans. Thank you. Definitely brings a vibe. I'm telling y'all, it's the hats for me, honey. And I can't wait to take this picture and send it to my friend. Cause she kept asking me if I like the hats. Like she didn't believe me or something. Sis, lo sis loves the hat, okay? <laughs> Ooh, let me let me take the tag off. I'm looking real tacky. 
Okay. All right, cool. And I was worried about my earrings, but I don't even have to, like, worry about my earrings now. All right, this is looking a bit too light for me. That's because this color I have on, I feel like, is, like, my summer color. Am I tripping? Let me just, mmm. Give me a little bronze. Bronzing me up. Good thing this is black and leather, so it don't even matter. It's not even gonna mess up the material. I think we are good. Let me put on... Yeah, I stay with a new a new lip, y'all. New, new, nude. You'll catch me with a color sometimes. It's like I really want to get into color, especially like in the fall time, but I don't know. Like, I need a really cute like um gold bangle, like a really cute one. Like, I'm thinking like a Cartier or whatever, but <laughs> sis ain't at Cartier money right now. But sis gonna get the Cartier money. Just wait on it. Or a little Hermes or a little Louis Vuitton one. Sis can sis can get a Louis Vuitton one, but sis not trying to pay for a Louis Vuitton one, if we're being honest. So, um, yeah, I'm saying if somebody won't bless me, do your thing, baby. Don't mind me, y'all. I just be chatting. You gotta speak it into existence, honey. Who don't who not gonna speak it? I'ma speak it. Alright, let me get a little under eye action. Almost round down the steps without putting on my smell good. So, last week, all right, let me show y'all. Last week, I wore this baby. The week before, I think I wore Flower Bomb. I wore this one the week before that. So, I think I'm going to go with Boo Boo right here. Giorgio, my, or Giorgio Armani. Gee, I don't know what the heck. Giorgio Armani, whatever. This is one of my favorites, though. I love, love, love this smell. I'm just about to stick because I got this leather one. So let me get it up here on the neck. Get in the hair a little bit. On the wrist. I don't care. I over spray and I don't care. I need you to smell the knees, honey. When I walk past, I'm like, whoo, smell like money. Smell like money. <laughs> All right, for real this time, I'm going downstairs. I'll be right back, y'all, and I'm gonna show y'all the whole look. Check me out, y'all. Check me out. So I have on like the black sock boots. Like the dress, I feel like doesn't do much straight on like this. But when I kind of turn, put a little hip in it. Like this, not too shabby, but but I'm super satisfied with the outfit. And I told y'all it's not too chilly out. Like, and I told you it's not too chilly outside. So I'm gonna bring. Oh, so I'm gonna bring this black vest I have, which is one of my favorite favorite vests. And I'll do it like this, y'all. It's a lot of black on black, but you know. I'm gonna try to make sure I get some pictures y'all so I can insert them right here so you guys can see them and get just like a way better view of the outfit because it's just so much black and without a flash, it isn't looking all that. And I'm not about to bring my ring light down here because I'm about to head out the door, okay? All right, so I'm gonna see y'all at Stank 48 and show y'all all the food and stop. So check this out. I really, really, really want to go to Wawa real quick before I get on this road. But the thing about me, when I like get dressed up and then stop somewhere, especially like when you gotta get gas or something, that is the worst. That is like so awkward. Is that not the most awkward moment? And then it's early. It's like two something. Um, it's like two something right now. So it's early to be somewhere all dressed up. Like I don't know. It's just mad awkward. Especially it's not like it's not like I live in like you know like Cali, Miami. Atlanta like you bound to see people dressed up all the time because it's just the vibe where you live I live all the way in some somewhere in the boondocks that <laughs> this ain't regular so I really want to stop at Wawa and get some apple slices I want to get some lace salt and vinegar chips mind you it's my cheat day 
I vlog a lot on cheat day, y'all know that because I try to always do something on my cheat day because I want to eat something really, really good. Even if I'm like not even really doing nothing, I still want to kind of like show y'all my food. Like I just, just something about cheat day. So yeah, I'm gonna get some sour, salt and vinegar chips, some apple slices. I want some strawberry starburst. I've been craving them. And I think it's because when I've been going into the stores, like the convenience stores, they've been just popping out on me. Like, buy me, buy me. Oh, my cravings. Um, Y'all would think, like, I crave, like, well, I guess, like, most people who live a lifestyle how I do, like, my 6 and one lifestyle, like, on Saturdays, you kind of crave something. Not all the times, but, like, I be just having weird cravings. And I always want chocolate because I love chocolate, period. I just love chocolate any day of the week. A piece of chocolate so like some chocolate m&m's strawberry starburst salt and vinegar lace chips and apple slices and sour cream and onion pringles i'm not even craving sour cream and onion pringles but they just they just bomb every time you eat them say say i'm lying sour cream and onion is by far the best pringle flavor and they bang every single time you eat one and you just want to keep eating the rest all right like yeah i got real defensive about the chips okay so i'm gonna let y'all know if i stop in wawa or not i don't got time for the eyes i don't put my mask on it's gonna mess up my face it's like no it's not but it's gonna mess up my lips <laughs> it's giving too much <laughs> i'm at the wawa and i'm going for it so <sighs> i just want to i wish i could just like mm, invisible real quick it's crazy because you would think I would like attention, but like, I don't be want all the attention to be on me. Like, no. Like, I just want to walk in, no attention, walk out, and just be fine. But no, like, I'm praying that Lord Jesus, please allow me to walk into Wawa, grab what I need, walk out without anyone stopping and trying to talk to me and slow me up from what I got to do. Getting in and getting out because I got to get on the road and I got to be somewhere. It is it's time to go. <laughs> Easy peasy, y'all. I got in, I got out. All right. Seat belt on. Hand sanitizer. Now I can get on the road. But I got me some Lay's and Pringles, which I talked to y'all about. I got my apple slices, which I talked to y'all about. Instead of the pink Starburst, I got pink Mentos, which I also love and I crave from time to time. And one of my favorites. Kit Kats is like my favorite, one of my favorite chocolate candies. I know I said the peanut M&M's, but that I was like wanting them. But sometimes peanut M&M's, the ratio of the chocolate and the peanut is not always to my liking. So I know Kit Kat is always a hit. Like peanut M&M's, when you pop one in your mouth, it could be a hit or a miss. <laughs> That's how much of a foodie I am. All right, let me go, y'all. Chill? All right, I'll see y'all when I get there. Hey guys, so I'm a literally I'm literally about to release a video for Light Fit that I did a couple months back, and I'm so nervous. I don't know why, but it's like a sneak peek. Um, releasing this on the Saturday before launch day, which is Monday, and I'm like super nervous. Don't ask me why I'm nervous. I just like am. Like I'm just being scary. But like press the button. Like I wrote the whole caption out, the hashtags, everything. Like I'm about to show y'all. So that's the caption, all the hashtags written out, and I'm just scared to like post it. But maybe I'll wait till like 4:30. It's 4:15. Okay, y'all, we just finished eating at Steak 38 and it was scrum deliumptious. Um, we got the fried shrimp double eggs. We got fried shrimp. We had, I had lamb chops. We had the little baguette, the little cute little treat thing you see on Instagram. That's not even on the menu. You can't even get that on the menu. We see it on Instagram, so it's like their off menu dessert. So good. It came with Nutella. So now, y'all see my outfit. And I put in some, I put in some pics for y'all to see. I told y'all I would get a picture of my outfit. I'm about to catch the shoes, catch the vibes. 
Kiss the vibes. You see the GG. Period, mamas. <laughs> My stomach poked out right now, y'all. I ate real good. So I'm about to change, about to get in the car, I'm about to change in the car, and then we're gonna stroll through the mall, and I'm gonna try to get those beans I was telling y'all about. Okay, so, come on. All right, y'all, y'all see I changed my outfit. This is my mall, like, follow me. Don't follow me. <laughs> yeah, wasn't wearing those heels in the mall, period. Y'all here go to Vans store. About to get my Vans or whatever. These are them, y'all. I already have these and workout in these. My joints are so busted. <laughs> so these will last longer because it's black like all around. So when it gets scuffed, it will look bad. How cute are the baby vans? My baby would definitely have some of these. Babies don't even like shoes. About to try them on. Okay. I think I like these ones better. The old ones? Yeah. Okay. I don't know why it feels like it's loose, but it's just not tight. Like what do you think? Like it? It's a workout. Oh, this is so cute. I took this for my classroom. Hey guys, I'm tired, but guess what? I just ordered pizza, it's on its way. Best believe I'm only gonna get my three treat meals today. I didn't show y'all, but earlier I had a salmon, egg, and cheese, and bacon on some bread. Child, it was jumping, it was so so good. Like, I think I'm gonna get it next week too. But yeah, my pizza's being made and delivered. Okay. And I still have my Kit Kat. Break me off a piece of that Kit Kat ball. <sighs> Y'all know what I was, I've been thinking lately? I've been thinking about getting my teeth whitening, like the laser whitening. Check out my teeth. I always get so many compliments on my teeth. Um, I never had braces or anything. It's just blessed, so, and I'm not mad at it. But I want to get them like extra white. So I'm thinking about getting lightning, white whitening. But my sis Britt, y'all know her, Brielle's mom, goddaughter's mommy. She works at a dental office, and she says that you know getting whitening makes your teeth sensitive. Like everyone says that, but like how sensitive? Does the sensitivity go away? Like if you guys know, comment down below. Brit, my sis be watching my channel. Shout out to Brit. Will the sensitivity go away, sis? Like I don't know. Like I really, really been thinking about it like a lot lately, and I really want to get it done, but. I don't want to have sensitive teeth. Like, if the sensitivity goes away, I'm totally for it. But if my teeth are going to remain sensitive for forever, then that's something I need to think about. I already brushed my teeth with 3D White, the 3D White Crest toothpaste, and I mouthwash with the 3D White mouthwash. 3D White mouthwash. Yeah, so if you guys know anything about it, comment down below because I'm super interested. And if anyone has done it, let me know too. Like, let me know how like it's going. Yeah, all right, still waiting on my pizza. Am I sad that I ordered pizza and I have leftovers from Steak 48? It's two lamb chops in here. I don't want to bust it open, y'all. Two lamb chops, mac and cheese, some asparagus, 
And this is like some of the appetizer. But oh well, like I want pizza. Period. Per per. My night is complete. So happy right now. This is how happy I am. I'm tired. Y'all can tell I'm tired. I know. I'm about to kill this pizza. Good morning, y'all. I'm just trying to figure out who told it to snow. Like who? Like it's really snowing. Like what? I gotta go grocery shop. <laughs> oh, I'm beeping at nobody. Like this snow is not it for me. I thought we had our snow. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> I'm good for one little snowstorm, and that's about it. Jeez, we don't live in Aspen. If I if I wanted Aspen vibes, I would have went to Aspen. <laughs> like, come on, Delaware. This is Delaware. I know we get snow and stuff sometimes, but like, enough is enough. Yeah, if y'all hear that, that's that's like the snow on the ground. Jeez Louise. But y'all know, I told y'all I do my grocery shopping on Sunday, so. I'm about to go grocery shopping right now. And I told y'all, I don't be, be believing the fork, the um, weather people when they be like, it's gonna snow and <laughs> Because they failed me one too many times. Um, but yeah, I'm about to do my grocery shopping. But if I knew the chunk of snow was gonna be like this kind of chunk of snow, I would have tried to go yesterday. But yesterday wouldn't work anyway because I was just busy as soon as I left the gym, period. Y'all, so remember I was all scared to post my video or whatever? So I posted it and I got a lot of good feedback. I don't know what I was just like a little nervous i don't know like you know when you put something out there that you've been working on and you just don't know what people are really going to say not that people are going to say something bad at least not to your face and like not publicly they're not going to say anything they might say it with their little people but like you know like you don't you some people have that attitude like i don't care you know what i'm saying like and it's like you say that and like some people say that like i mean i'll say like you know i don't care but it's still just the initial the initial reaction you know you want people to like your stuff you want people to you know whether they like it or not you know how much you put into it so I don't know if I'm explaining this right but still you like want people to like what you put out and you don't want to hear negative feedback but at the end of the day everybody's gonna always have something bad to say so you can't really control like what people thoughts are as long as you love what you did you know what you put into what you did that's all that matters at the end of the day so I got over my little fear. Sorry, I'm lucky. I have my hood on looking like a hoodlum. Um, but yeah, so I put it out. I got a lot of great feedback. And I'm excited for tomorrow. The real feedback is going to count once they get their sets and they're trying to moon and everything. And I know I took my time picking out the stuff and the quality and all that stuff. So. I have no doubt in my mind that people are gonna love what they purchase and they're definitely gonna get their money's worth. But, all right, y'all, I probably shouldn't be vlogging while I'm driving in the snow. All right, all right, all right. All right. Y'all hear all that? The most. I don't think people was expecting the snow to be like this either because they usually have these roads cleared up. I'll show y'all a little bit. So the roads aren't bad, but still, it's snow on the ground. Where is the, uh, the uh what's it called the salt where the salt so i'm gonna let y'all go make sure y'all go to lifeapparel.com and make your purchase and be the light honey remember to always be the light wherever you go because wherever you go the light shall fall